Hi! So that was Yamaha's Silent Brass system. And uh, before I get into that, I'd like to uh, kind of say that people send me stuff to review all the time, and that's fine by me, but I always put a little disclaimer on saying that I'm going to be honest, and um, if I don't like the product, I'm going to say it. And so I kind of tell them, don't send it to me unless you really believe in your product. That being said, I'm very happy to be playing with Silent Brass because it's actually really awesome. Okay, so as you can see, or hear mostly, um, it's very effective. Okay, so this is what we're working with. I've got the Silent Brass Mute itself. Looks a little different than the original one. Here's the little system that turns it into a trombone sound again. So you plug the mute in there and headphones come out. And uh, you have volume. And then on the side here we have a couple different reverb options. Now as you just heard, I can play for you what it sounds like with the mute in, but I wish there was a way for me to uh, be able to let you hear what it sounds like for me. Why don't I plug into that? Now this is highly unconventional. Uh, I'm taking a mute, which is supposed to make me sound very, very quiet or silent, uh, and I'm plugging into an amp, which is supposed to make me sound as loud as I possibly can. So uh, the reason is, uh, so you'll be able to hear what I would hear if I were wearing headphones. And so what I'll do is uh, turn the silent brass off when I play, and then you'll hear what it sounds like in the room, and then I'll turn it on with the amp, and then you'll hear what I would hear with headphones. Uh, here we go, without. That's the first reverb setting, and now here's the second. Now at this point, some of you may be asking, does this only work with small bore horns, because that's what I'm using. Nope, here's a large bore. And back to the original reverb setting. So I'm not really sure what else to say about this because they advertise it as silent brass, uh, a mute that's going to allow you to practice uh, without making noise, but you'll still be able to hear yourself and it won't feel too much different than when you're playing without a mute. And it totally does that. Um, that being said, what I'm doing right now is putting it through an amplifier, but as long as you go through their little box that turns it back into uh, a trombone sound, so that means you can't just go straight from this uh, out to what you want, you have to put it through their system first, but if you do that, um, you can put it through any effects pedal that you want, because all you have is uh, an eighth inch uh, basically headphone jack, and so you uh, turn that into whatever you want, and it isolates your sound. I put it through the looper a lot of times when I don't want it to bleed over to the other tracks or have feedback, but you could put delay on any guitar pedal that you want, or any way you see fit turning a trombone into a digital sound. Um, now you can, and it's very easy to do. Um, so distortion, whatever you want. I've been having a lot of fun with that lately. So um, the technical side of it is really awesome. The practical side of it is just as good. So, this is Yamaha's Silent Brass. And just so I could try to answer the questions before they come in, does it feel like I'm playing with a mute in? Yes but it's not nearly as much as any of the mutes that we use, uh, Harman or Straight Mute or Cut Mute or anything like that. 
This is less intrusive, I would say, than that. How is the range with it? I really don't notice a huge difference. I mean, <laughs> maybe up there it's a little bit more strained, I don't know. Uh, it, it resonates just fine. Um, intonation, I think you may have to adjust right at the beginning, so basically tune with it, and then you'll be fine. Any negatives I have with it, um, I would say use your favorite pair of headphones. They, they do uh, include headphones and the cables you need and everything. Um, I went and bought a longer cable for it, so I don't have to be kind of strapped to it. But it has a little belt thing on it, so if you want to just put it on your, on your uh, waistband, that's fine. Um, but anyway, I like having a longer one, and then I like using uh, a little bit better quality headphones, but again, you don't have to. So there it is, the Yamaha Silent Brass System. I'll put a link in the description and all that stuff to their information. But um, yeah, so if you live in a city or have roommates or uh, a spouse that maybe isn't so happy about you playing the trombone, uh, this is going to save marriages all over the place. So. <laughs> Uh, definitely check it out if it's something that you might be interested in. Um, I give it 3.5 stars out of 3.5 stars. <laughs> Take it easy and I'll see you guys next week.